G'day, it is the captain here, and this is my first ever captain's report. Now, on the captain's report, we are going to tackle the big issues. We're going to have a look at exactly what is affecting society on a daily basis. This is what we, this is it. This is what you've been waiting for. This is where ah, I go a little bit unhinged. So what are we covering today? Well, I'm glad that you asked. Today, we are looking at the biggest subject I think I could possibly cover. Rubbish. That's right, rubbish. You know, what you think about when you hear these guys. Or, you know, see this guy. <laughs> or even this guy. What a good looking dude. Why am I talking about rubbish? Well, I'm glad that you asked. Mostly because I've got fuck all to do today. So I decided that we'll have a bit of a look at what's going on in our trash world. Most importantly, let's look at the, the three main issues of trash or waste or rubbish, whatever you decide to call them. Because in most houses, you will have between two to five bins, depending on where you live. Now, most of these bins will include a green waste. They will include house rubbish or general waste, and they will include recycling. Now, when you think about what you're putting inside your rubbish bins, will determine how well your council likes you. Because in some councils, there will be inspections throughout all of your bins. In fact, there is people that their whole job is to go through your rubbish and award you either a tick or a cross, depending on what you put in your trash. Some councils will even give you prizes if you are disposing of your waste correctly. How crazy is that? We are now being awarded for doing the basics, which is almost like getting a participation trophy these days. I've been looking forward to the day that I get a trophy just for taking my rubbish out. And if you think that you're not in this category, think again. Have a look at this. Household habits under the microscope. These are the Australian first cameras designed to spot red flags in your yellow bin waste and catching out rubbish recyclers. Holy shit! There are now cameras on trucks dedicated to looking into your trash, into your waste. This is crazy. Why are we putting this much amount of money into technology for waste removal? Well, it's simple. As a society, we're getting really good at just disposing things. Things are now coming in single use. And once we're finished with them, we toss them. Phones, electricity, and not electricity, phones, uh, other electronic products are only designed to last a certain amount of time. And then we'll toss them. Green waste is another huge thing. In fact, in our supermarkets, thanks to a 2019 report, has showed that between 20 to 40% of the fruits they receive will be rejected due to cosmetic issues. So there's nothing actually wrong with the food. It just doesn't look as pretty as it used to. So look at that. We are now conducting pageants, if you will, uh, beauty contests on fruit, on veg. And if they don't meet the criteria, we dispose of them. They don't even go to people that need it. They just get tossed. And then people will go, oh, you know, what about all these greenhouse gases that are being created? We're the ones creating it because we are disposing of things that we no longer need. If you look at use by dates compared to best by dates, there is a whole argument to be had just with that alone. All because they have put a label on it and you are not up here to work out, oh, can I still eat this or not? We have to rely on these tags. And as soon as it's gone, as soon as that day comes, into the bin it goes. It's crazy. We create so much waste here in Australia that we don't eat it. Local councils won't even hold on to it once that's collected. It will be tossed. It will be sent to another country, sold even to other countries to dispose of. Which is crazy considering 9% Nine. Nine percent of all plastics that are discarded here in Australia will be recycled. Nine. Nine percent. Twelve percent will be incinerated. The rest goes to either landfills or into other countries to, to take. It's crazy. Nine percent. 
And we're taught from such a young age that recycling is super important, right? But for some reason, we all just... Look at your single-use plastic bottles. You know, the ones that come with water in them. The stuff that you can get for free from a tap. We, for whatever reason, will buy these products. Like, if we don't have them, we're not in the click. What happened to the days where you forward thought and went, I'm going out today, I'm going to go and grab a, a water bottle, I'm going to fill it up before I go for my run or for my adventure, and I will drink it out of that. But no, it's so easy and so convenient to spend money on something that you can get for free, and then what do we do with the bottles? We discard them. Quite a lot end up actually in our sewer systems, rain systems, in a, straight out into the ocean. But hey, I'm not here to talk to you about being a greenie, and I'm not talk here to talk to you about how to live your life. I'm just pointing out some facts. Because there are so many facts out there about Australian waste that have never really come to light. Because why would it? Why, why worry about it when we can just discard it? Out of all the oil products around the globe, 10% goes to the production and transportation and disposable and disposing of the plastics. Everything from plastic plates, cups, spoons, etc. So what do we do to, to combat this? We're going to get rid of plastic. That's what we're going to do. That's great. Excellent. Have you ever noticed how you get these new paper straws? And what are they wrapped in? More paper. Yeah. That's all right. We've just re you know got rid of one thing to replace it with another. Oh, but it's biodegradable. It will do this. Yeah, that's great. That's phenomenal. But where is it going to end up first? Because we remember, paper is supposed to go in recycling. You can't put that in your waste anymore. Now, now, councils have decided that they're going to look into what can go more and more in to your green waste. In fact, now veggie scraps and, uh, and fruit scraps will end up inside your green waste bins so now we are going to be sending more compost to be discarded and again maybe not even discarded in your local council but maybe shipped somewhere else entirely but yet we're the ones that now have to do this we're the ones that are going to have to either be punished because we don't dispose of our waste correctly how's this going to work it takes over a hundred years for aluminium foil to dissolve completely go down to any of your local burger joints things like that look how much look how much aluminium foil they're going to use look how much of the plastic that they're going to use to wrap food and so forth in your food will probably end up in paper. That's fine. But what they do when they have to follow the rules of, you know, OH&S and so forth, they have to wrap their food at the end of the night to be stored. And then that plastic will be discarded and the whole system starts again. So what's the answer? I don't know the answer and I will never even pretend to know the answer. All I'm doing is reporting. I'm the captain. And that's my report.